Welcome to BMC Remedy Force customer success video series on trending reports and dashboards. In this video, we will create a report that we will bring in a dashboard that will show us the amount of tickets that were created every month, along with a trend line to display the average age of those tickets by month. So let's begin. So for this video, um, we're going to be using the incident object. It's one of the most common um, you know, objects used in Remedy Force. So once you logged into Remedy Force, one of the first things you'll have to do in order to get that trend line of average age in days is create a custom formula field called age in days. And the formula is quite simple. It calculates the close date minus the open date basically the timestamps and if there's no close date meaning the ticket is still opened it will calculate the time it is now that you're running it minus the open date so once you've created your formula field you'll have access to that field in your reports and you can also use that field in some of your quick views or list views that you may have in the tool so let's start creating the report the first thing you'll do is you'll click on the reports tab and we're going to create a brand new report and we're going to search for the incident object and we'll click on create we'll go under the assumption that this report is for your organization it's not just for you or for your tickets so you're going to want to change the show to all tickets or all incidences and because this one this particular um, chart is going to be displaying closed tickets Therefore, we're going to have a value on our age and days field. Um, we're going to keep this as date field is closed. And we're going to change the range. Uh, for this example, we'll use a fiscal quarter, so the, the current fiscal quarter. Now, a good way to make sure that you're filtering things correctly is to bring in some of these fields. So we'll bring in the open date field. And we'll bring in the close date field. Now at this point, this is basically all you need. You don't need anything more than that. The first step we're going to do is we're going to change this from a tabular format to a matrix format. And we're going to bring in the open date and we're going to bring that to the left column. And we're going to bring the close date to the very top. And for now, we'll ignore the incident numbers. We don't really need those in our report. So what we're seeing here is the open date. This will vary. Uh, you'll have a bunch of days in the last three months. So you're going to want to group these by month. And if you click on the little triangle, you can group these dates by calendar month. And you'll want to do the same at the top because you'll have a bunch of days here. So you'll group this by calendar month. So now you have your calendar months on the left side that were your open dates and you have your calendar months at the top which were your close dates but now you need to bring in the age and days and there's a very simple way to do this in, in Salesforce so just look for your your field age and days and when you drag it over you can drop this in the center block right here and as you let go of this you'll get prompted to select one of the four options some average max or minimum and we're going to click on average and click apply so now it's automatically calculating the average age in days. And basically, this is all you need to build your chart. But we're going to just fine tune this a little bit. We're going to hide the details. We don't really need the details. Basically, the, all the incident numbers on the, left, on the right side. And we're going to run this report to make sure we have some good data. So we have the open in the current quarter, close in the current quarter. And this looks good. So we're going to click on Save As. And we're going to store it in the common BMC Remedy Forest Reports folder. And now we can close this and go back to the Reports tab. So our next step is to take this report and pull it into a dashboard. Now you may already have a dashboard that you're using and you can very well use the exact same dashboard and just pull that one component in. Or you can create a new dashboard. So, so for today's example, we're going to create a brand new dashboard by clicking the new dashboard button. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a component and we're going to use the vertical bars. And we're going to go to our data source and we're going to look for the report that we just created. And we're going to pull that in our dashboard. Now, while it's loading, you can go ahead and give it a name. So we're going to give this um, a current quarter as a main title. Whoops. And this particular chart will give it a name as um, closed incidents with average age. Now, obviously, this is not looking at all like what we wanted. So we're going to click on the little wrench to modify this. So one of the first tabs you have here is the formatting tab. We're going to skip this tab for now, and we're going to go to the components tab. And we're going to change the y-axis to record count. This will give you the y-axis. We want the amount of records. And the x-axis, we're going to change this to the close date. We're not going to group it. We are going to plot an additional value, however, which is the trending line, the average age, which is here. But we're going to change this from column to line. And we have here the average age. And we're going to use a secondary axis. And the reason for that, if you look at the axis that's there now, this will be your count, your ticket count. And you may have over 100 or 200 tickets. And if you're using the same line for your average age, and your average age could vary from three to five days, you're basically going to have a blue line near the bottom here. So you do want a secondary axis to the right side that will be the axis for the age for the average age. And then the axis on the left side will be the axis for the amount of tickets. So let's click on this use secondary axis. And if you've noticed, you only have access to this if it's a line. If you leave it a column, you don't have access to the secondary axis. And now we're going to click on the formatting. You don't have to change anything. Uh, it's already set to label ascending. Um, leave it at automatic. So as the months go by, uh, you, may, you may have a lot more tickets and you want the axis to adjust itself. One of the things you might want to do on the formatting tab is select one or the other. If you're trending on a whole year, you're going to have a lot of information, a lot of colors, blues and, and greens. You may not want to show the values, but you may want to show this when you hover over it to see what the values are. And we'll click OK. And then when we're done, we'll save the dashboard. And we will store this in the BMC Remedy Forest dashboard folder. And we'll save it. And now we'll close the dashboard and we'll go out here and have a look at it. So now you have your dashboard, your trending dashboard, current quarter. Uh, so basically you have, you know, two tickets that were open in July and the average age is four days. And for August, you have about 11 tickets with an average age of about one. And if you click on it, it'll bring it to the report. So this concludes the video on trending reports and dashboards. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact your CSM or email us at remedyforsuccess at bmc.com.